So Ollie, welcome to Scottsdale. It's what, a while since we announced that you were coming here. Does it feel good to finally be here? Yeah, I think it's yeah, it's been a long time coming. Um, been looking forward to it for a long time. I think we announced it when I was still playing for the Stormers um, and wanted to end off well there, but uh, it's been in the back of my mind for a while now. I'm yeah, very excited to finally be here. Stormers are so close to a Super Rugby mm. semi-final. Mm. Are you happy with how you left things there? I think disappointing again three years in a row where we don't progress from the quarterfinals um, and losing again to Dave in the quarterfinals. <laughs> Obviously, he's gotten one up on me when I arrived here. But uh, yeah, I think I've left there on the best possible note I could have and just looking forward and looking forward to be here. Yeah. Did you speak to Dave that day? Uh, not after we lost, actually. They needed to catch a flight back, but I, I spoke to him. Uh, when we beat them in the round robin stages, and that was that was good to chat after the game to him. But uh, yeah, I didn't catch up with him after the quarterfinal. No. It's not your first time in the UK. You've been you were at school in England. Yeah, tell us a bit about that. Um, so yeah, we, I did my A levels at Dulwich College in London. Um, so I know all about the the UK weather, and um, yeah, I decided to come up, spend a couple of years here, and then went back to South Africa. And you, France as well. You played some rugby out there. What did you make of European rugby? I think at the time I was really young um, and was barely out of school so what, I don't think I took it as seriously as I would have if I went now um, but it was a great experience for me and I definitely grew as a person living by myself for the first time and learning a tiny bit of French uh, and yeah learning sort of dark arts of scrimmage. Um, I think that definitely propelled uh, my position when I went back to South Africa. We put up a little video of you in the airport kind of just saying hello and all of the comments we got were about just how just how big you are. Everyone <laughs> seemed to be struck by your size. What kind yeah. of player are you? Do you like to throw your weight about a bit? Uh, yeah, I think I'd like to be known as a hard worker uh, but make an impact if I get my hands on the ball, if I make a big hit uh, and definitely in set piece. So I want to be a dominant scrummager. So uh, that's where I like to make my mark first up and I'm sure I can do that here as well. What do you know of the guys you'll be sharing the front row with? Have you met any of them already? Uh, I met some of the guys who not, because I arrived yesterday, I met some of the guys who are not on Scotland camp yet, but I've been watching um, uh, Xander Ferguson play for Scotland in the Six Nations, and I'm really impressed with what he's been doing. I think mean, he's a great player. Um, and working with the guys today, you can see that they're all very keen and a lot of potential. So I'm, looking excited, I'm excited for the new season. What was it that made you choose Glasgow? I've been actually chatting to Glasgow for quite a while now. Um, but what really sort of put the final nail in the coffin was when they put together the coaching staff that they have now. Um, I think playing against Dave Rennie for the past couple of seasons, he's been one of the standout coaches and the assistants they've put with him. I mean, it's a great coaching staff and that's really what motivated me to come here. I think it showed a lot of aspiration and with the signings they've made as well, I think, yeah, it's going to be a great year. Is Hugh Jones in your ear? Was he saying, come with me, mate? I was actually, uh, we, didn't, we didn't know at the time that we were both talking to Glasgow at the <laughs> same time. Um, but definitely to have a good mate with me, playing rugby with me, is always uh, a bonus. Uh, but it, it didn't motivate the decision. Actually. Roommates up there, is that right? Are you planning yeah. to do the same when he gets here? I think so. Um, We've, we've chatted about it a little bit. We need to wait for him to finish Curry Cup back in his earth. But uh, if he's willing, yeah, I'm sure we'll share an apartment in the first couple of months when he gets over. And Brandon Thompson's another Stormers guy. Yes. How did you get on with him? Oh, he's a great guy. I think uh, when he came here on loan uh, over the Christmas period, he really did well and I think impressed Glasgow. He's a great player, great signing for the club. Um, and yeah, get on well with him. So it's going to be nice to have another South African here for sure. Hugh's been to a game here, he hasn't played here, Brandon has played here. Are you looking forward to getting out in front of this crowd? Definitely. Um, I've been looking forward to it for a while now and I just want to sort of make my mark, do what I can for the team and give everything I can. Yeah. You'll know better, better than most what the Cheetahs and the Kings are going to bring to the Pro 14. Tell us yeah. a bit about them and what we can expect. I think firstly it's going to be quite interesting seeing uh, uh, for the first time outside of international rugby, seeing Southern and Northern Hemisphere teams clash at club level. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see teams like the Warriors go down to Bloemfontein where it's quite hot and dry at altitude. There's just completely different conditions here. Um, 
how what they'd make of it. Uh, but I, I think it can only strengthen the tournament if you've got interest coming from uh, different areas of the world. The Kings and the Cheetahs have been up and coming super rugby sides for a while now. And the Kings showed in super rugby that they can actually put up a couple of good performances. So I think it's, it's definitely just going to strengthen the competition. And yeah, I look forward to well, going back to Bloom. Um, we're not going to the PE this year, but it's been nice to go back to Bloomfontein at least.